Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So believe it or not, the ceiling above my head in the hallway used to be bright pink. Pink of all colors and nobody can work out why. But since then, it's been sandblasted and it was sandblasted even before we exposed the beautiful flagstone cobbled floor in the hallway. So quite a while ago. So I'm gonna show you a few clips from that video now just so any of you who haven't seen it will just understand what was done and then we're going to crack on with some more plasterboarding. So let's do it.
Welcome to the hallway ceiling, everyone. So with the ceiling, we're gonna do the, exactly the same thing as what we did in the kitchen. So you're still gonna see the beams, but then between, we're gonna put insulation, batten, and then plasterboard. And then it's gonna get plastered um, all over, like we do on the walls. And that will make a really nice looking ceiling. But the only issue is, we've got all of these hundreds and hundreds of nails of when um, it had all of the battens or laves removed. I can't remember what the word is. And then it was skimmed over with a rough plaster and then a fine plaster. So you couldn't actually see the ceiling before. And it's nice that we've exposed it. And what's interesting about this ceiling is that it's oak. The one in the kitchen is chestnut. This ceiling is oak. And I suppose it's whatever they had at the time. Um, also, let me just reach down, grab this. So I need to, um, obviously, we need to plaster this area here at the top, but I'm waiting because essentially we've got to put noggins in. Um, noggins is not a term I'm familiar with, but um, because noggin is your head generally, use your noggin. Um, so we're going to use these. I think probably the actual term is like a brace or something like that. But obviously bigger than that. I'll just turn the camera. I'm going to see a bit better. So this. Something like this will go between every beam. And it means that we can then obviously put a piece of plasterboard all the way through. And then another piece in here. Because there will be like a void and a gap going in to where the original wall is. So yeah. That would be a job for Yanis because he's fantastic at cutting wood and putting, well, using the saw and putting things like that up. That's why I haven't put a passport here yet because what we'll do is they'll go in place and they'll get screwed in from the bottom and that will make them really strong because you can't really get a screw in from the top here or anywhere else. So, yeah. So what's happening tomorrow? I'm starting the other wall. And the other wall is a little bit more complicated because above here, the doorway, you can probably see some cables coming out of the wall. Um, that's where the internal or interior air conditioning heating unit is going to go. And accidentally, Duncan put in a three core, but we actually need a four core cable. So I've got the four core cable. Um, so I'm going to pull that cable out, put the four core in, because I believe one of the cables is a data cable for controlling the unit. And they all run back to the exterior compressor. And then one cable goes to the mains for powering the whole lot, essentially. So yeah, pretty good. And then I've got the copper piping for the air conditioning unit. So um, the refrigerant hoses, essentially. I've just got to run that in, but I'm not going to go any further than the basement for the time being with that because um, I want to put I want to put it in the wall, but I'll let the professionals install it if that makes any sense. So yeah, fantastic. Um, so what we're going to do now is go and catch up with Simon and Yanis because it's been a couple of days and I'm sure they've been cracking on. And um, I look forward to them completing that house because it means they'll be back here and we can get more progress done rather than me working on my own every day. So yeah. Let's go, let's go see them. Simon, you're in the last bedroom, mate. Yeah, the last one, final bedroom. It looks really good. So the wallpaper has been stripped. Yeah. Flooring, right. well, was it carpet? Yeah, carpet's all come up. What you can see on the floor there is just where it's a foam back carpet, and that's just the remnants of it's left. Yeah. It doesn't so. matter, we're gonna cover it all anyway. It's gonna have yeah. a wooden floor mm -hmm. to put down. So um, you're just finishing off the coving. Yeah, just finishing that off. 
And then Last little bit to go up there. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to put a ceiling rose up as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, ceiling rose, yeah, yeah of course. Ceiling rose to go up there. We've yeah. got that as well, so I'll get that done before we go today. Mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe tomorrow, I think we're going to start painting in the bathroom. Okay. So that's our plan for tomorrow, while that's this all dries out. Because I've done quite a lot of filling on the walls in here, yeah. so it'll give that time to dry. I had a look, well. quick look in there and... Um, Fantastic, yeah. Yes. With a bit of paint, it will really transform yeah, it. Yeah, so. absolutely. And we'll show that once it's done, because it looks very similar to the last time, but the walls yeah. are just smoother. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> I spent a day sort of prepping all the walls in yeah. there, plastering them and fitting yeah. them. So, yeah, it will be ready for painting tomorrow. Yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. Smash tomorrow. it. And then I suppose the last thing to do in here will be the floor and skirting board. Yeah, we'll get it all painted, then we'll put the floor down and then skirting board, and that's about it. We're Brilliant. Done. Brilliant. So, Look forward to having you back at the convent, mate. Yeah, I'm ready to come back now. I've yeah. had enough of it now. I, so. I read a lot of the comments last night, and um, I mentioned that you've got a golf tournament, you've got to get back to yeah. it and things like that, and people are quite shocked to know that you're, you know, a golfer. Is, right, that, yeah. is that what you call yourselves, a golfer? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, a golfer, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I enjoy playing golf. Really it, yeah, way, okay, so. yeah. Yeah, we've got a tournament in June, so I've got to save at least a week. Oh right, yeah, because it's actually in France. It, that's right, back over here. Just, yeah. just the other way. It's not very far when we get the crossing over. So all right, cool. From there, so. And I saw a lot of the questions were in the comments. What is your um, what's it called? Handicap. Uh, handicap. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Is it good or is it bad? Well, it's going. It was fourteen, and now it's going up. It's creeping back up to about seventeen, I think now. All oh, right, okay. Because I spent a lot half of the year last year over in France, and I so didn't play, so it's yeah, yeah. Up. That's pretty um, good. That's interesting. Yeah, hopefully we'll get it back down a bit <laughs> we go, before we... Uh, before I don't, we I don't know anything about golf. I used to like going like to a driving range and things yeah. like that, but yeah, sure. golf is a different thing altogether, isn't it, I yeah. suppose? It's quite addictive when you start playing. Yeah. I think it's like most sports, you know, once you start playing, you can get addicted yeah. to them, can't you? So. All right then, mate, I'm going to let you crack on. Okay. What is the time? It's almost three o'clock. Uh, yeah. yeah, all right then. Okay. I'll catch you later, mate. All right then. Well, that's an early... Finish for me today. Yeah. I'm not going back to the convent now. Not for me. Not for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but at least another hour's work here. Yeah. So, so, so we get that little bit done, the ceiling rows done, and then we'll be ready yeah. to paint in the other room tomorrow. So All right. maybe we'll see you tomorrow evening. Yeah, yeah, I can pop in, yeah. Afternoon. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, then. It's really tedious doing plasterboard, so right. any excuse to come here is yeah. uh, is a good thing. All right then, mate. Imagine. See All you right, later. Mate. Thanks, mate. Bye. See you later.